from Kalamazoo, direct to you. It's a WKZO.com quick cast. Okay, first off, I guess it's like when well, they came calling to you and you said, you know, we would like you back with the wings, what was your reaction? Uh, basically, as soon as I found out, you know, that uh, Nick had called me and they were back in the East Coast League, it was a no-brainer for me. I mean, that's, you know, something I want to do. It's a great organization that has... Uh, you know, two great affiliates now. You know, so that's that's my main goal is to try and you know move up into the next level. I think with uh, with everything that the team has to offer, it's you know it's one of the best options. Considering that you're going to play, you know, with the San Jose camp, what what is your motivation behind that? I mean, how how do you do that? Do you go in there thinking I want to make this camp, or you, you know realize that you have this as a backdrop? Uh, I mean, realistically, I have. You know, I signed here for a reason. That if this is where I end up, you know, I'm going to be completely happy with that. But at the same time, going into San Jose, you know, that's I don't expect, obviously, I don't expect to stick there. Um, but, but at the same time, I want to go in and experience it, what the NHL game is like, uh, you know, and just learn from it and make the most out of it. You talk about the difference of the K-Wings being in the ECHL as opposed to the IHL or the UHL. Uh, basically, just with all these affiliations, you know, they're basically with the American Leagues, if they need a guy, they're, they come calling to the affiliate, whereas with the IHL or the UHL, you know, you didn't really get that. I mean, there were guys who were called up basically just for weekend deals or whatnot if they were close. But you know, here is more of a you know more of a development league for for those leagues. So you're going to see a lot younger guys in here, you know, coming out of college or juniors looking to make that next step. Fans had a real solid reaction to your return. How does that make you feel? Feels great. I mean, you know, had a had a pretty solid year here. We didn't uh, you know obviously didn't end the way we would have liked losing Game Seven of the finals, but. Uh, you know, I, overall, it was you know one of the best years of my my career. So, what's it about Kalamazoo that that you like it here? What makes it that, that special place? Uh, just everything. I mean, the fan base. You know, as you saw here, the turnout here just for you know on a Tuesday afternoon. Um, you know, from from the way the organization is built. You know, from Nick Bootland to Wade Walsh and Paul Picard. All those guys are class act guys who, you know, some not to. You know, I'll be bad on anyone else, but some organizations you never know what you're going to get with how you're treated or whatnot. But with you know all these guys are guys that I trust and I know they're class act guys. So. With your experience in the ECHL, coming to the wings, what's that going to mean for this team? Uh, I mean, I've talked to Nick already, and you know he wants me to come in and be a little bit of a, I mean, a little bit of a leader. I've, it's my third year in the, in the East Coast League, so I know a little bit about it. Um, you know, he wants me to come in and play. You know, and, and, be that guy that you can count on. What's the uh, last time you were here and this time? What, what are some of the differences you've seen in this team? Uh, basically, just it's going to be a little bit different with the the youth that's going to be brought in here. With you know, the, especially with the uh, two affiliates, you're going to have you know a lot of guys on NHL or American League contracts who are their young prospects who they're bringing. They send them here, you know, to develop them. They may not be there here the whole year, or whatnot, but they're they're guys that. You know, NHL has, or American League guys have, you know, money invested in them. In terms of the level of play that's going to be coming with the CHL, obviously it's a higher level. You know, what, are, what can fans expect when they see that? I think it's a little, little more fast, fast-paced game. Um, you know, just with just with the younger guys, it's going to be a little more run-gun type of hockey compared to, you know, maybe with the way it was with the UHL. With, you know, you had a lot older, smarter hockey players who've been around and they know the systems and, you know, they maybe play more a little relaxed, smarter game, where here it's going to be, you know, all-out battle, you know, just speed. So it would be a little different. I don't I don't think the caliber is, uh, you know, night and day between the two, but they may notice a difference. Is it one of those things where you'll see more action than versus the older style? Um, it's, it's tough to tell. I mean, you know, being a couple of years ago, I don't really remember the jump from, you know, from going from Kalamazoo to uh, Johnstown was my first year in the East Coast. Um, but it, it's 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 you know designed to be that way, I guess. You know, with the younger guys who may not be uh, you know may, not as controlled and smarter, or whatever way you want to look at it. But it could be uh, you know some nights could be running gun hockey, or you know by the time it comes down to three on three, and you know Sunday afternoon, it's going to be a little bit of a smarter, slower game. How excited are you coming back, seeing all this? Oh, it's great. I mean, you know when I when I had the phone call from. From uh, Nick, you know, it was just, you know, you know, it was great for me. You know, it was, it was exciting. You know, just the thought of coming back here was, you know, enough just to I told him to send me a contract right away. So, 
you didn't really hesitate? No, I mean, there was no negotiating whatsoever. He just he made me offer, first phone call, and I said, let's get her done. So, great, great. That's all I have for you.